What's good everybody and welcome to Dream Engines Nomad Cities. Uh, for those of you who are new, I'm Katmandu and in this video we're going to check out this new game which is currently a demo which is on the Steam Game Festival at the moment so if you guys want to go and check it out then yeah go and check it out on Steam. Um, yeah like I said it is a demo uh, of Dream Engines Nomad Cities so hopefully you guys enjoy it. If you do don't forget to show some love to that like button for me uh, and if you do like it don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, both the likes and subscribes really do help the channel out massively guys so if you could show your support man I would really really appreciate it. Uh, if you guys would like to get in contact with me in the description down below is all my contact details so you can check all that out. Uh, if you guys would like to hit that notification bell as well then you guys will get notified when we upload a video or when we live stream as well so it's a very handy little tool indeed. And um, yeah on Steam this game basically says um, a survival city building game with flying cities. Build, automate, and defend a flying city to survive in a wacky, nightmare-infested, post-apocalyptic world full of strange science and dreams. Yeah, so it's quite a sort of, I guess, funky little take on the on a city builder type game. Um, obviously, it's got elements of obviously it's like a post-apocalyptic um, sort of steampunk style city builder. Obviously, I think you're obviously you can fly, so you can sort of raise up into the sky and, and move on to the next place obviously you've got um you've got automation in it as well sort of like a factorio style thing as well and then obviously it's survival because you sort of got to build your base up and there's going to be attacks so it's sort of almost i guess a bit like a tower defense style game as well um so yeah there's a couple of different elements in the game but overall it looks very promising i've had this on my wish list for a while and um yeah i'm so glad that i'm, I'm able to check out the demo right about now so yeah without further ado let's crack on man Press new game. Uh, relaxed mode, okay. Iron Man, what's this? In Iron Man mode, there was only one save file. Oh, okay, that's off anyway. Enemy numbers. Forgiving. Challenging. I'm just going to leave this all as... Um, threat increase rate. Challenging. Yeah, I'm just going to keep this all as like, uh, obviously, how it is. There's some of the things I can't change anyway. So let's start. Uh, city name. Ooh. How will your nomad city be known? Uh, we're going to call it the city of uh, Kathmandu, obviously. Because obviously, if you guys are probably aware, obviously my name is a play on the uh, Nepal capital of Kathmandu. So we'll call our city Kathmandu as well. Uh, tips. Don't be afraid of building more than one research centre or workshop so you can progress faster. Just make sure your economy can support it. Okay, sweet. So yes, yeah, so I'm really looking forward to this game. It looks really promising. I love the art style of it. Very, very steampunk-like. Welcome to Dream Engines. These messages will guide you through the demo and explain the basic controls. Okay. Your current objectives will appear on the top right corner of the screen. Uh, click on any goal to show these tutorial messages once, uh, once again for, for that goal. Uh, use WASD keys to move around. Your Steam bot will always face towards the mouse pointer. Okay, so yeah, I can see that. WASD to move around. Uh, use the mouse scroll wheel to zoom in and out. Well done, you received the following rewards. Oh, thanks. Uh, you can also review previous tutorials by pressing J to open uh, the journal. Now build some houses for your workers uh, and to increase Flux income. Flux is the most basic element of your technology. You will need it for almost anything you do. Uh, press B to uh, open the build menu, then select the house button and click on the map to place the building. Leave an empty tile between your city core and the houses. Okay, I'm guessing maybe to put like a road around it or something. Right, so yeah, so we're actually a bot as well as like... So look, we can actually move around with our guy. Um, but we've also got our little... Ooh. Ooh. Okay, so we can fire and we can punch. Okay, that's cool. Uh, build two houses. Oh, gear. Can we press Q and E to rotate or something, or is there a way we can sort of rotate rotate the camera? Oh, I just pressed down and gave me reset. Wow, look at this tech tree. You know we love. You know I love a nice tech tree. Woo. Okay. <laughs> right. Okay. Right. Let's press B. Um, his. I'm gonna build a hoos. Can we press R to rotate it, or is that just for the tech tree? Uh, mouse wheel. Um, it didn't say, did it, how to rotate? Oh, yeah, there it is. That and that to rotate. Okay, well, weird buttons for rotation. Okay, let me have a look. Okay, strange, strange buttons for ro for rotating, but okay. 
Uh, I think I'm going to do my houses here, I think. So I want to be able to rotate the camera though, but... Okay, perfect. Now you need to set up transportation to deliver food to the houses. Wait, what? Select the infrastructure category in the build menu and select rails. Keyboard shortcut is Y. Then click and drag to build rails from the city core to the houses. Rails only go in one direction. Make sure you drag... Make sure you drag and build from the core to the houses and not the other way around. Ooh, okay, so if we press Y... Um, One-way tracks on which mine carts mag uh, magically appear to transport resources between buildings. Drag to build, drag on top of existing rails to add or change direction. Ooh, okay. So what do we do like that? Now create an exit that will output food to the rail system. Click and drag as if placing rails from inside the building to the adjacent rail tile. Select food when prompted. What? Um, I don't... Am I just a big dummy because I don't understand that at all? Create an exit to send food from the city to core to the rails. I don't I don't understand. Wait, what? <laughs> huh? Uh, I'm confused, bro. I'm 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 real confused. How do I I'm Trying to see if I can like maybe just do like a, a circle or something? Oh I don't feel like I've done this right. Something feels something feels wrong. You do not have enough resources to upkeep this building. I'm trying to. Perfect. Now you need to set up transportation to deliver food to the houses. Now create an exit that will output food to the rail system. Click and drag as if placing rails from inside the building to the adjacent rail tile. What? Like that? Oh, hang on a sec. Um, ah, I think I get it. Ah, oh, okay. So we've got to click a rail from the middle point out. Right. Next, create an entrance to deliver the food into the houses. Click and drag as if placing... Right, okay, so we've got to do it like this, I guess. So we go here and in. Great, now repeat this so the food is delivered to both houses. Okay. Um, I have... Does this not move? Can we? I don't understand. Yeah, deliver food to both houses. Okay, so we've just got to wait. Don't know why this is not moving. Um, have I done something wrong? Oh, I think I know what it is. There we go, because the tracks were, like, the wrong way. There we go. There we go, because the track was going the wrong way. Right, okay. Right, so this is, yeah, it's very, it's very sort of, um, I know, it's different. It's very strange, but we'll get there. Well done, you received the following materials. 20 wood, nice. Next, prepare to explore the city surrounding. Equip some repair kits in case you take damage. 
Press ease whilst facing the city core. The repair kits are in the city core. To interact with it, stand next to the building and face it, then press E. Okay, so if we go like here. Can we get... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, there we go. E. This is the building window. You can see your inventory on the left and the building storage and other info on the right. Hold shift and click on the repair kit icon to uh, grab the entire stack. Okay, so shift... Is it this? Bam. Now assign the repair kit to a quick slot. Press I to open the character window. Um, click on one of the empty quick bar slots in the character area and then choose the item you wish to assign to that slot. Okay. Once assigned, you can press the corresponding number button on your keyboard to use the item at any time. Well, we'll put that in one. Do we need to... Ah, oh, okay, we'll just click on it. Well done, you received the following rewards, an extra four. Sweet. Perfect, let's get some raw materials so you can construct more buildings. Explore the area near the city and search for a Bloodwood node. When you encounter enemies, you can attack with the left mouse button melee or right mouse button ranged. Ooh. Okay. So we've got, we've got food popping. Going around in a circle. It is actually moving around in a circle, that's nice. I mean, we can put some houses in the back bit here if we need to and connect them up that way, so that's cool. Alright, so we need to go exploring. Okay, cool. Uh, that, that looks like Bloodwood. Blood, Bloodwood. Oh. Uh, there's that uh, There's that resource node. Now build a harvester. Interact with the node and click on the Bloodwood clutter. Clear the area of enemies first. Oh. Back off, back off, back off. Little one, little one. Okay, you better back off now. Bloodwood Clutter. Well done, you received the following, okay. You're now collecting logs, but before you can use them, they need to be refined into planks and transferred to storage. Planks are produced from logs at a wood warper. A wood warper? A wood warper needs to be within your power area, so it's better to build near the city. Build three of these and place rails to send them logs from the harvester. Okay, oh wow. That's cool. Can we hit this up? Oh, we can hit them up. What do we get there? Oh, these are just like... Are these just like mini resources of it or something? Okay, so we need to do... Uh, build wood warpers times three and supply them with logs. Okay. Uh, bah, 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 bah. Do we do B? That's a farm. That's a cutter. Stone. Wood warper. So do they have to be like on it, or they just oh they can't be in this red I guess. So what if we go like, huh? Cannot build. Can't build part. Okay. Let's do it like that then, and then we've got to do the rail. So if we do a rail from this, can't move. Uh, rail from this out. Cannot build here. Blocked. Blocked with what? This? Can we not shoot it? So what the hell then? Can we not build a rail through that? So that's actually what wow, that that is stupid. Can we build that way then? We do that and then up this way. Then I guess we need to do like a, like that one, two, three. Okay, we're getting the hang of it now. I get it. Right, so that's going to give us a constant supply of this blood wood, I guess. What is this down here? Hello. Did I not break this? Nope. Okay, so that's being supplied. Beautiful. So I'm guessing this is just what uh, raises up. Perfect. You will later unlock resource drop-off buildings. These, uh, those will let you autom automate delivery of raw materials and you won't have to build as many rails. Okay, nice. Now build some rails to send planks from the warpers into your city core for storage. Then wait for planks to be produced. Right, okay. So we need to do rails come in. Uh, oh, hang on a sec. Can we build rails? Yeah, we can build rails like that, can't we? So what if I join all these up like that? 
and then if we sort of turn a corner and go this way into the thing can I not turn it like that? Is that like broke? And then we've got to do like uh, like this there we go and then that will go in there, beautiful there we go Mate, it does remind me very much of like a Factorio style game. Uh, where you set up automated things like this, man. That's pretty cool. Well done, you received the following rewards. Ten wood, beautiful. Your wood production will keep you supplied with planks to support your construction efforts. As you explore, keep your eye out for additional resource nodes, since they won't last forever. Once your node is emptied, it will produce at a much lower rate. Okay, so it will still produce, just at a lower rate. Now increase your city's population level to unlock some more buildings. To increase your city level, you need to reach a population of 21. Your city core will produce new citizens workers as long as housing is available. Build more housing and supply them with food. Wait until you have a population of 21. So where's my population at the moment? Is it here? Current population 20. Housing available for 20. Need for next level 21. Right, okay. So we just basically need one more house. Right, so if I was to do a house. Let's have a look. Oh, that's what we're making. Okay, cool. Uh, if we press B. Population, house. Yeah, so if we put a house like... I wish I could like spin the camera around. I don't know if you can. Could we do a house there? We'll do a house here. Uh, let's rotate. Right, let me do a house there. And then we can do a rail going into it. Yes! Where are we at now? We have up to 25. In order to be more efficient in exploring, gathering and defending your city, you'll need better equipment. Before you can craft new weapons or armour, you'll have to perform some research. More on that later. But you can already craft some of uh, some more repair kits. Press C to open the crafting window, then select the makeshift repair kit and click the craft button. Okay, I can do that. C. Makeshift repair. Craft. Most of your buildings can only be built within your power area. You can expand that area by building Tesla towers. Uh, build a Tesla tower from the power tab near the edges of the city platform. Okay. What's that? Unlocked. Oh, unlocked building. Wood gate. Okay. Uh, so let's go to the... It said something about power tab or something here tesla tower maybe down here or do we go up here hmm let's go down here excellent now you can craft produce basic resources and explore the map in search for more however your food supplies won't last forever you'll need to produce more food first step in food production is growing raw food uh, a few uh per per Perptato? Perptato? Farm? Should do the trick. You'll find them in the gathering category. Okay, gathering. Perpt... Perptato. 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 I don't bloody know. Let's just build one. Oh, I've got to build three. Ooh. So we can't build these in the city, can we? Or can we? I don't, I don't know. Um... Oh, so that increases our range. Oh, okay. I see ya. Uh, I'm just going to do them up here. There we go. Now build a food plant and set up rails to transport transport them from the farm. Then send the produced food to the city core storage. Okay. So we need to uh, set up food production. Damn, what did it say again? <laughs> um, yeah. Oh, food plant. There we go. Food plant, set up the rails of transport. Right, a food plant, okay. I'm on it. Food plant. There we go. So we need one of these. Right, so if we do... If we put one there like that. I wish I could... Can we... Hang on a minute. Can I see settings? Is there a way we can... Yeah, WSDE toggle. 
Research infrastructure. Hold down. Rotate buildings. How can I not rotate the camera? Uh, I would like to be able to rotate the camera. I'm not gonna lie. Um, but okay, we'll we'll make do with for now. Just just a heads up to the devs, man. If you can set a couple of key bindings to like rotate the camera, that would be nice. Alright, so if we do a, just a makeshift like this. Alright, and then if we do something coming out. Oh, hang on a sec. That's not going to work, is it? Uh, we're going to have to. How do we like. Sorry, yeah, I'll, I'll look at that later. Yeah, I want to know how to. Uh, I would like to be able to dismantle a building. Can I not do that? Right, okay. Right, it's so a plan B then. Because I'm not really seeing anywhere. If we have these going this way. We're going to have to do it like that, I think. What about if we go one more? Like that. I'll just see if this works. That's going to come out. That's going to come out. That's going to come out. And then that's going to come in. As your population grows, you will need to produce more food. You can build more farms. The food plant is not yet at full efficiency. You can see input and output rate in the production UI when interacting with buildings. Now wait for some food to reach your storage. Right, so where's this production, where's this production UI? Where's that? So they're all going in. I know we need to set up another rail, don't we? Obviously into the thing. Like that. And that food will come on in. Well done, you received some more food. Beautiful. To keep the city running, you will need more than food and wood. You will also need to produce enough power and flux. Flux is used to operate most of your machines and is also used to build new buildings, craft equipment and later perform research. You'll need a lot of it. Um, house produce some flux, but you'll need more than that. The, uh, the flux vats can produce flux and don't require any food. Build some of these outside your city. Their most basic production recipe doesn't require any raw material, so don't worry about where you put them. Okay, a flux vats, okay. Is that under power, maybe? No. Under here? Flux vats, okay. So we can just put these sort of anywhere? How many did it say? Three. Um, can we do them like here then? One, two, three. Power is not needed to build new buildings, but is essential to operate existing ones. Make sure your power con uh, production is always positive. Uh, you can produce power at the power generator. Like Flux, its most basic recipe does not require any raw materials, but these cannot be built too close to each other. Build two power generators, okay. I'm just trying to have a little look. Weight and carrying power. Engine fuel. What the hell? Raid approaching. The drip. Uh. Hold on a sec. I'm not. Even, I'm not ready for no raid. Hold on a sec. Wait. 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 No. 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 Power generator. Let's do one up here. Mate, I will kick off. Oh, so we can do one there, like one here. Why can I not move over? Thank you. Do one there and there. Now increase your city size to unlock the research centre. Have houses plus six and supply them with food. Right, hang on a sec, because we've got like um, something happening. Something's happening over here. I'm ready. Do we go and do we go and take them out or something? I don't know. Back off. Go away, go away, go away. Oh, it's a big boy. Hold on a sec. Oh, 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 no, 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 no. Please go away, please go away. Back and off then. Ow! 
Stop, 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 stop. Just give it a rest. I want that. Oh, 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 oh. Fire. Fire. Your buildings are under attack. I oh, know, I know, I know. I sorted them. I think we did. Did we do it? How do I? Can I? Um. Building maintenance. Is that repairing? I think it is. Does that automatically repair? I think so. I don't know. I don't know how to repair you, sir. Can I give you one of them? Like... No? I don't know how to repair. Uh... Sorry, I'll just hit it again. I don't know. We'll leave it for now. I think it might just repair on its own, hopefully. Right, so we need to build another six more houses. Right, okay, so we press B. Go to the person, go to here. We'll do one, two. Um, no, this is going to work. That's three. We'll put some rails on them. That one seems to already have one. Hmm. Uh, maybe we already... Did we already do that one? Do you know what? I honestly cannot remember. Um, okay. Put another... I can do another one. I can't really do another two there. Do that and that. And then do maybe a rail... To that one and to that one. Reach a population of 40. So we need one more house. Oh, okay. Did we did we do it? You've unlocked the research lab. Build one to research technologies and unlock new possibilities. Okay, did we I guess we did it? Right, research lab tar extractor. Okay. Build a research lab. Sweet, I'll do it. What the hell is it? Research lab. Not seeing it. Okay, so this just takes power, so maybe we can do this. Research, uh, research labs require star tar to work. Build a, build a tar extractor near the lab. Okay, star tar. Tar extractor. Uh, build rails to supply the research lab with tar, then pre Oh, hang on a minute, I messed up. Build rails to supply the research lab with tar, then press R to open the research screen and click the workshop to research it. Uh, once the research is complete, build a workshop. Okay. So we need to do rails. I guess I could do one like down here. Then that. Then that. Alright, and then press R. Workshop. Okay, so I'm saying I need two. I need two juice. How much juice do we have? Ah, here we go. So you actually have to. That's quite cool that you actually have to. 
You have to go up to certain buildings and press E to figure out what you're storing, what you've got. Okay. Uh, build a workshop. No research selected. Select tooltip from minimap. I like that. Oh, we got another. We got another thing coming in. Please don't. Uh, hang on a sec. Hang on a sec. Hang on a sec. Can you just? Can you just leave me alone for a sec? Starwood. Uh, the basis of all. I don't know what that is. Oh, that's ten. Let's let's get that. Let's do that one. I don't know. Nightmare juice. I don't know how much we're producing of this. Um. Yeah. It says build a workshop. Okay. I'll try. Workshop. Okay. That's a that's a big old building as well. Uh, send planks to the workshop to to, uh, to produce upgrade parts. Once you have enough, open the infrastructure screen K by default. Purchase an upgrade and allocate an infrastructure point. Okay, so do we need to do another rail to it? And send planks. Okay, so we're producing. So this is wood. We're producing planks. I don't think, it doesn't seem like we're producing a lot anymore. Yeah, look. Resource depleted. Infrastructure, infrastructure upgrade available. Hang on a sec, we've got a, hang on. We've got, a, we've got an impending attack up here. Go on then. Better back off now. Back off. Oh, 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 oh. Another one coming in. Stand. Come on then. Oh, I can't use it. I can't use it. I can't use it. It's like a cooldown on it. Your buildings are under attack. We're alright. We're alright. What is this? Uh, can I use them all? Yeah, so you can only use them. Right, okay, let's just chill. Chill, chill, chill. Um... Okay, so we've got another one here. I want to do a little bit of exploring, if I'm being honest. Whoa, 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 back off, back off, back off. Try and explore a little bit, chill out. Big boy, big boy, big boy. Back off, back off, back off. Can heal up, fella. Right, so we've got another thing here. I'm not trailing a whole trail, uh, like a whole one of them tracks around there, though, are we? Upgrade infrastructure, right, okay, that was K. Ooh, infrastructure level, right, okay. Steambot combat, survival gathering admin. Um, I'm going to upgrade to the steambot combat, I think. Once the city is landed, it will attract larger groups of dread dream plagues that will attempt to destroy it. Drip raids are more dangerous than those wandering around and they attack in multiple ways. Whilst you cannot handle the first attack by yourself, you should build some defences as soon as you can. Build wooden turrets time too. You can track the raid in the minimap and plan where to build your defences. Uh, no. Raid approaching. Again? I just had a raid, bro. Uh, it's coming from the bottom. So we need to build some wooden turrets. That's huge. Can we uh, rotate? 
Um, I don't know why I can't... Oh, because I can't move. Turrets provide firepower but can't take that much damage. You need to protect them and your city with walls. Build 10 walls. Okay. Uh, wood walls. Is this going to work? Like that. Now wait for the uh, drip to attack and defeat them. Uh, I want to carry on with the walls though. What about if we go there? And a gate. Ha! <laughs> and some more walls. It's there, okay. Uh, so how much wood have we got? What's up here? Output full. What do you mean? Got loads of wood. Let's do... Let's do another one. Do another couple. Another couple by the gate. Oh, can I not get through now? Sure we can. Sure we can. Fire! Another one coming in. High power usage. See tooltip mini map. What? High power usage? What are you on about? We're good. As long as your city stays put, the Dread Raids will get more and more aggressive. You can see the current threat level in your HUD. Uh, you also need Featherstone to build more advanced structures which cannot be found in this area, so it's time for you to fly away. Only the buildings on the city platform will fly with you. Luckily, most of these buildings are built in a way that allows you to easily move them from place to place. Press M to enter move mode and move any building. Uh, wait, what? M. Can I move? What? So I can move any building I want. So can I be? Can I move like these? Oh, we can. Okay. Uh, when you have finished organising your city, fly away and find a calmer place to land. Click the launch button in the hood. Right. Okay. Initiate takeoff procedure. It takes some time while the engines warm up, so don't wait too long, or you'll become dread food. I suggest you place some towers. In your city near the edges before leaving and make sure your steam bot is in the city when your timer runs out okay well, i want to put all these in uh i feel like i want to put like the food in at least some of it your city is getting heavier every building adds to the city weight and if your weight exceeds your carrying power you won't be able to take off you can increase your carrying capacity by building an upgrading engine required research you can decrease the weight right, okay so what are we 50 Oh, okay. Uh, let's put a generator on. 52 or 55. Uh, I'd like to take one of these, though. 54. Uh, blocked, okay. Sweet. Um, overweight, okay. That's fine. Right, let's take one of them off. Only got two of them with that, okay. Uh, now I'm stuck. We move that over there. I was going to say, it can be moved, because I've moved it. Do that, and then that. Do, like, another one? 56, no. Okay. Um... Okay, let's take... Ugh. Take one of these off. All right, let's launch. I want. I want to see this launch. Take off. Take off charging. Yes, yeah, so I've left. I've got one of them. Left one of them behind. I've taken two farms. Left one behind. Uh, I've taken two of these. Left one behind. Uh, I've got two of these turrets. I had to leave one behind. Uh, and I've to, had to leave behind one of the uh, wood makers as well. That's, I'm quite happy with that, to be honest. I'm quite happy leaving them behind. I um, feel like we've got a nice little uh, setup here for like the next place we go. 
Here we go, look at this. Can we press like... Can we, like take the hood away or something, but no. That's cool, man. Oh, we're left behind. Oh, never mind. These things happen. Congratulations, your city is flying for the first time. In this screen, you can select where you want to land next. Select your next landing spot carefully. You cho your, your choice will affect the strength of the enemies, which resources will be on the map, and how many. Um, oh, so it's all disabled for the demo, so you can only go there. Okay, you can only go there. Um, click the tools button and then choose the uh, the move tool or press M to reorganize your buildings. Some buildings like walls and rails cannot be moved. Right, okay, so we need to be careful. So we can actually move building. You don't actually demolish the building, you just move it. Right, okay, well that's handy to know. Um, right guys, unfortunately I have run out of time, so that is going to do it for this episode. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed it anyway if you did don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe if you want to see more leave it in the comments down below and hit that like button it, it shows me that you want to see more so yeah don't forget to do that um, if you want to get in touch with me as well in the description down below is all my contact details so you go check all that out uh, if you want to hit that notification bell as well then you guys will get notified when we upload a video or when we live stream as well so it's a very handy little tool indeed and uh, yeah until the next time guys have a good one stay safe out there peace out